Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host, Shri Ayer. Today, I have the pleasure of Professor R.V.'s company, and we're going to talk about a very important topic that perhaps no one is thinking about, and that is the expenditure of the pandemic. Uh, Professor R.V., welcome to P Guru's channel, sir. And before I formally welcome you, I'd like to urge our viewers to subscribe to our channel and to donate to our channel. And I hope that you would like us to continue to bring good quality programming. We are facing some headwinds right now. Uh, we are not able to do something that we would like to do, but be that as it may, time will you know, heal some of these things. But most importantly, Professor Arvi is here to share his thoughts on the expenditure of the pandemic and what is the danger there if there is endless spending on that. Professor Arvi, please take it away. You see, this uh, everybody is talking about COVID-19 and uh, and the issues involved in that, and now the government revenue is coming down. Government is not adequately earning, which is a factual thing uh, in terms of their GST, in terms of their income tax, and because the um, you know we are under lockdown by and large for the last uh, say something like five six months. Uh, March end it started, so April, May, June, July, August. Now, September end, it will be six months actually. And a large amount of activities have been significantly affected. And uh, pay cuts have been enforced by many of the private and other organizations. So there is a inadequacy of revenue is uh, recognized actually. And many of the state governments are complaining that uh, they are not able to get uh, adequate uh, share of the uh, central revenue. Center is uh, also concerned about a huge amount of uh, deficiency. Fiscal deficient is expected to be 7% or 7.5%. Normally, we talk about uh, 3 to 4% in terms of the target and other things. So, and uh, central government is also not very enthusiastic because inflation is already in the uh, consumer uh, area, it is uh, touching something like 8 to 9%. They would not like to shoot the inflation to shoot up. Anyhow, the more important point, both at central and state level, the experts, economists, uh, other type of people are not discussing is reduction in the central and state level government expenditure. Today, many of the state governments are paying 70 to 75 percent of their income revenue on salary, wages, pension and uh, interest burden. Many of the state government like Kerala, Tamil Nadu and other things are Bengal. They are borrowing in order to meet the interest obligation for the next uh, uh, payment. In other words, it's something like a Pakistan situation, which is uh, borrowing a huge amount of money in order to pay the uh, earlier uh, borrowed amount. It's not a sustainable type of a model. First, let's uh, look at the central level. Central has got a huge number of ministries. Recently, actually, you may know that uh, Akali Dal uh, leader, uh, she quit. She was the food processing uh, minister. And uh, I used to joke that uh, the Excel government can split it into two portions. Non-veg food processing and veg food processing. Create two ministries. Under, again, veg, they can say onion, garlic included, onion, garlic excluded. Two more ministers. Under non-veg, halal and Yetka. So sir, I thought you wanted less government, sir. Uh, no, I am just uh, you know sarcastically telling this is the way to improve, increase the uh, government. Like in state government, many of them have got irrigation. Small irrigation, one minister. Large irrigation, another minister. Just to you know satisfy the uh, party members or the coalition member. One minister for elementary education and one minister for higher education. Why don't one minister for pre KG, pre first standard education? Then UKG minister, LKG minister. You can, everybody wants to be a minister because one Lalbati, you can put some amount of uh, 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 earnings are made by you. You have a PA, you have a you know, security guard, and uh, more powerful minister you are, more number of guards around you. That is another thing. This, uh, then you will uh, get into you know, X category, Y category, and SPG and other. And I have a uh, observation I used to say earlier, more number of cops are around you, 
the people perceive you differently the other day i was going from bangalore to delhi one minister was going with uh, many cops around him so one young kid one girl was studying very young girl he told her mother amma you see such a big dacoit is going heli nodi dodda dodda kalvar hoyidare her mother was telling shop don't tell like that i told her mother she is telling correctly only. because when she is seeing somebody surrounded by large number of cops she think they are in a way correct because unless they are surrounded by huge number of spg or z category they may do something to us actually so the protection is not to the neta but to ordinary people like us otherwise he may pick my pocket or he may try to you know molest that uh, girl's mother or anything can happen so that is the reason i always tell people in delhi and other news agency increase the number of protection to these netas they are very uh, you know they are actually a menace to the society anyhow be that as it may we have a huge number of uh, ministries whenever i go to delhi i take a walk in the morning every big bangalore occupied by many of these netas outside there are some 10 or 15 cops sitting and uh, you know talking with each other or having some cup of chai or something they are all supposed to be protecting the fellow inside god knows what type of expenditure we are incurring other than that we have so many you know there is a ministry where this uh, cabinet minister goes and gives one uh, cup to some uh, you know lady actress or something best actress of the year and then uh, another cup for one fellow who comes with some beard or something as a uh, best musical director or best director why we should have government giving all these awards and other thing and a ministry for that there is one sankit natak academy there is one sahitya academy there is a nritya kala all sorts of thing these are all started by the stalin era nehru that government should be the one which should oscar is not uh, run by the us government i am sure you will agree with me yes yes it's not there it's not no yeah us government does give any awards for anybody actually right. for that matter it has some very selective in terms of recognition that is very very few and far between so it doesn't give award for the best uh, you know fiction writer or you know nobody in us is uh, uh, getting from many of the private agencies may be doing their own awards and other that's a different issue in india sahitya academy there is a huge sifar pull and push for all these awards then we have huge amount of padma padma dosai sai called them padma shri padma bhushan padma vibhushan hundreds of these padmas everybody is uh, joking and uh, you know you can recommend me i can recommend you uh, for a padma award and uh, there is a huge amount of crowding in delhi during this period of course earlier it all used to be left historians and uh, thing now it is supposedly on the right side it doesn't matter whether right wing or left wing spending is spending there is no need and then uh, there is a nehru museum and then there are huge amount of indira gandhi center for culture and arts all these are if you ask me completely not required actually that uh, uh, nehru's uh, original uh, all house has been converted it can be a best place for pm's residence pm residence has been shifted from there to now what is called loknayak park one of the funny reason given that time is that uh, indira felt that uh, bringing the soup from the kitchen to the dining table by the time the soup becomes cold so many of our visiting people were having cold soup i do not understand why they can't have this burner and you know side in the dining place and then keep the soup hot in you know, those days it was not there god knows that is given as one of the major reason and this shala prasad writes for shifting from there to and the plus we have huge number of a uh, delhi if you ask me delhi is a you know city or whatever you call it out all these mashams graveyards you start from mahatma gandhi graveyard you come to sanjeev gandhi graveyard you go to rajiv gandhi graveyard you go to indira gandhi indira stall and then you have huge number of pity fellows uh, graveyards then nehrus of course the major and then uh, you have so many other type of tombs uh, mausoleums and dargahs everywhere 
you know, that fellow, this fellow, Babu, Raghavar. It's a very fascinating thing. They are starting one museum, which uh, named after Shatrapati Sivaji by this uh, UP chief minister. That's a Mughal. Mughals, why do they require museum? All of India is a museum of Mughals, actually. Anywhere you go, you will find uh, what they have done, what is their uh, thing. So there is a ministry for that also. Everywhere you find. There is a steel ministry. Steel has been completely deregulated. So I asked somebody, what is the role of the steel ministry? No, sir, the same chairman has to be appointed. For that, you have a ministry, huge paraphernalia, huge number of employees and other things. Then there is one child welfare. You know, and uh, typically, you know, a woman is appointed as a minister who thinks our child welfare is the uh, role of the uh, ministry. Child welfare ministry. You know, I don't know, you know, does anyone know how many ministries are there? 60 plus. I will conduct a quiz. How many cabinet ministers are there with uh, Narendra Modi? 20 okay. plus. No, oh, no. You are, you are very, very old fashioned actually. How many ministries are there? And how many deputy ministers? How many uh, state minister, ministers? At the state level, much, much more complicated. Whenever we talk about PSC reform, we only talk about ONGC, BSNL, Air India and others. What about states? There are many states like Tamil Nadu, Karnataka. There are 52 public sector undertakings are there. Can you believe that? 55. All of them and can the be closed. All of them can there. be closed. Huh? All of them can be closed. All of them can be not only closed. Their real estate can be sold at a very huge price. That's the only valuable thing they have got. Sir, don't don't put such thoughts in their mind, sir. Then they will do it for a loss, and then they will have their son go and bid on a no auction bid. All right, as long as it, it. any which way, as long as it disposed of, it is okay. Because future payment of continuous payment of salary and uh, uh, pension and other thing won't take place. They are sitting on a gold mine. Only real estate is valuable. Nothing else. If you go by their valuation in the books, sir, it will be zero. Because real estate will be shown at the original acquired cost. Everybody knows in the book cost. But today's market value is very large. There is one sheep uh, you know, rearing corporation in Karnataka. There is a fishery corporation in Assam. I always used to be wondering. Assam, I always thought, is not having any major sea or anything nearby. But this is supposed to be inland fishery. Haryana wants to have a shipping. Haryana is a landlocked but shipping. It's all right. Because every corporation means a chairman. Those who cannot be made ministers can make a chairman. And give him one Lalbati car and one assistant secretary and couple of security guards. And a, you know monthly allowance. And this whole thing is futile. If you want... You see, roughly 19, uh, 20 percent, 18 to 20 percent of our GDP is government. And the maximum amount of the GDP is spent on government itself in terms of expenditure. Salary wages, these are all supposedly constituting GDP. Can you beat that? If the government doubles its salary, then the GDP of that component will also double. It's a very funny thing, actually, because salary wages is equated to amount of productivity of the government. Yes. Sir, simple way to increase, boost the GDP, sir. Your wife should go and cook in your neighbor's house. Your neighbor's wife should come and cook in your house. You should go and eat the food made by your wife in your neighbor's house and pay for it. Her no, no, income no. is counted for GDP. Your no, no, no. expenditure also goes for GDP. Much, much, and, uh, much simpler way will be to marry, you know. Uh, your own servant mind if you want to reduce your GDP and uh, make your wife as a servant mind if you want to increase the GDP. You don't have to do all this. Uh, but that doesn't uh, really uh, help actually. It's not going to happen also. Point is, huge amount of government expenditure can be slashed. Why do we require a civil aviation minister to tell me one good reason? What we require is a good regulatory framework who the regulator should implement the aspects of regulation. There is no need for a minister. Similarly, uh, green, you know, this uh, pollution, for that one minister, why do we require a minister and a huge performance? 
we must have a good pollution control board which is capable of delivering nobody does it actually buildings go on fire and then later the complaint is made the fire extinguishers are not in order the fire safety measures were not taken behind that you will find a fellow who has been bribed actually so that fellow would have gone for doing it he would have been given an envelope and uh, he would have shut his uh, eyes and come back larger ministries can be closed down information brought why there is a requirement of information broadcasting minister what does he do have a good regulatory framework we have already prashar bharat prashar bharati which is uh, <coughs> i am told employs some 77000 people all these regional channel national channel we should have a good regulator that's all finance ministry employs some 82000 people why nobody questions these things we have to cut we have to have home defense technology particularly which is under the central list finance those which are under the central list that's all education if you want to bring it to the central list and keep education ministry even there you don't require a ministry you require only a council which is capable of monitoring the ministry has not done anything for the last uh, something like uh, seven and a half eight years section till we read about uh, uh, akbar the great and tipu sultan the great and aurangzeb the great not much about the chalukya empire chola empire ampi so many of these so having ministries doesn't solve anything have five or six ministries only all others you send home you tell you will get paid till your retirement but don't many of them may not agree because their bread money is much more than the regular income so regular income if you give that's not enough so okay you put another 50% not right also add it give it nothing will happen and state level huge amount of cut can be made state level what is the requirement if you want you keep your cops home ministry which should be very very effective and powerful in order to maintain a law and order in the state and the temple administration why should it be with the state government give it to the believers of the respective gods mask administration is not under the state government state government doesn't require to have it education no need for a ministry have a council of experts who would gain large portion of the state expenditure can be cut if you ask me 50% can be cut so the dealing of the pandemic we should not only look at the revenue side that is important but the more important is also look at what type of expenditures uh, we are incurring and uh, what is the nature of the uh, things which we can cut all this uh, information broadcasting can go women and child welfare can go that is uh, taken care by this and uh, you know one thing many of the ministries are duplicate of the state level ministry state has got one agriculture ministry center has also got one agriculture ministry many of the central schemes are supposed to be implemented by the state so one doesn't really know what is the purpose of duplication of these uh, ministries huge number of uh, Uh, central grants are given to the state who are supposed to meet the requirement of the state so what has happened is we have very poor regulatory system regulatory bodies are not doing their task well in order to overcome that we create ministries and in order to overcome that further we create senior level and junior level in all the ministries and this is not the way to solve any issues at all we have to strengthen the local level regulatory framework make it work and uh, abolish half of the ministries except those four or five which i mentioned at the central level central government should be lean and mean mean for those who are you know crossing the line those who are not following the rules and regulation similarly at the state level the punishment should be swift and severe most of the thing we enunciated last time itself can be self regulated if it is not followed the punishment should be swift and severe home ministry at the state level should be very very powerful and that is the requirement for law and order you maintain law and order you have road system 
properly done in everywhere provide water facility to people they will take care of everything else this used to be the ideal formulation of k kamaraj r venkatraman c subramaniam and kakan those four are the pioneers in tamil nadu who understood what the government should do kamaraj used to say that water kudunu nam road ponnu nalla ella adathiliyum road clear up potta people will take care of law and order should be maintained other thing people will take care of themselves power generation huge amount of uh, activities can be nowadays you know not just uh, major electricity now there is a huge amount of what you may loosely call the other forms of generating power solar and various other things i am sure uh, you know living in california you know what i am you will understand yes sir i have a panel on my house uh, my electric car charge needs are being covered by my panel so i have a zero cost of maintenance for my car as per fuel goes yeah you can encourage but uh, here you know one of my known person wanted to fix uh, <laughs> this uh, 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 what do you call alternate uh, thing for 3 uh, megawatt or something he wanted actually for his factory and he was told for <laughs> megawatt he has to give one crore in order to implement the scheme not uh, with receipt this is without receipt he felt that as i get because there was huge amount of fluctuations or not availability of power he wanted to go for this uh, his own this stock so this is uh, actually so leave road this uh, water these are the one or two areas which government should focus on order most important everything else can be society's initiative because we have developed we, we are not in the 1950s that the government should undertake everything and government can send rockets nothing wrong about it it can be science or technology at the higher end of the spectrum can be with the government nobody is uh, you know thought one can go going to object to that or deny that so cut the government to size if you ask me 50% of the government expenditure can be removed at the state level 75% can be removed state level <laughs> you know in karnataka there is on Uh, Rajya Sabha Award, similarly Kalai Mahamani Award in Tamil Nadu. Every state has got one thing. A couple of years before, there were so many Rajya Sabha awardees. They all could not be accommodated in an auditorium and a group photo or another thing. And in the auditorium hall, there were more awardees, so there can't be any an attendees. To it was a felicitation function for them. Nobody knows who remember. you ask people to name some uh, 10 uh, padma vibhushan awardees in the last uh, say 6 years nobody will know and you are not going to listen to ms balakshmi or bipin joshi because they are bharat ratna are you going to listen to them just because no you will listen to them whether they are bharat ratna or not so these uh, you know these are just to make the ministers feel very bright that he is giving a recognition to a kalakar that used to be the king's attitude of the olden days so the kings used to you know give for the poets and uh, not required in a democratic country the minister need not regard are the minister recognizing kalakar if you ask me honestly it's actually a dishonor to the kalakar to the artist it's not an honor to the artist because many of these are you know good as why should i get recognition through this thing anyhow cutting down government expenditure should be a very major task in this pandemic period in order to overcome the reduction in the revenue thank you very much thank you very much sir and uh, there are lots of things that the government could have done covid was a golden opportunity to reset your computing system your government system your governance you could have done a lot of things unfortunately like every previous government this government also has done almost nothing and i hope that somebody in the pmo is watching this video and and this is important advice you are under the burden of debt many you mean state governments central government that debt can be reduced in fact eradicated if you do some follow some simple rules that uh, professor rv is uh, uh, suggesting here i hope somebody listens and acts thank you very much professor rv and namaskaram thank you